Waking up to an alarm clock sucks. All snuggled up cozy in your warm, comfy bed, dreaming of being stuck on a desert island in the late 1960s with a sweet bamboo car, when all of a sudden... <laughs> Who the heck decided that that was a good way to wake up in the morning? And what if there was a better way that actually felt good? Turns out that the way that people woke up for the majority of human history did not involve being penetrated in the ear hole by a sound that can only be described as <clears throat> Turns out we actually have some built-in wiring for this whole waking up thing. We, like a lot of the other critters on this rock, regulate our sleep-wake cycles with sunlight. The light from the sun hits our eyes and our internal clock is like Do it! So I decided to try waking up by simulating a sunrise wow. in my bedroom. I've had these Philips Hue light bulbs for a while now and I recently learned that not only only can you use the Philips Hue app to make the inside of your bedroom look like a starship that's under attack. But you can also program them to simulate a sunrise. So first... Can't take much more of this, Captain! <clears throat> so first, I'm gonna try using this setup to see how it feels to wake up with light instead of with an alarm. And then I'm gonna try something a little bit more... powerful. Okay, so the automation is gonna start at 6.30 a.m. with the lights turning on very dimly and then gradually increasing in brightness. So I will see you tomorrow and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, so I woke up a little bit ago, had a shower. That was great. I didn't feel like I was woken up. It felt like I just woke up naturally. It was peaceful and calm and relaxing. It kind of felt like I was at a Kenny G concert in my underwear. <laughs> So I decided to stick with it for a week, and I ended up loving it so much that I told my phone alarm to fuck off because it had been permanently replaced. Now the best solution, if it works for you, is to wake up to real, genuine, certified, organic, gluten-free sunrise. But depending on what time you need to get up, what time of year it is, where you live, that may be difficult to make work logistically. But you should try to get real sunlight in your eyes as soon as you can after you wake up. There's real science behind it. It really does make a big difference. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a podcast by Dr. Andrew Huberman, which goes into depth on this topic. Definitely worth checking out. But I was curious what would happen if I woke up to a light that was a little bit more intense. Now the typical LED light bulb that you would use in a lamp in your bedroom is probably around 10 watts or so and is a nice warm white color around 2700 Kelvin. Very pleasing on the eyes, like your mother. This is a 60 watt LED video light with a much more invigorating daylight color temperature of around 5600 Kelvin. A regular light bulb in a lamp scatters the light in all directions, which means it isn't very concentrated. It's spread out all over the room, like your mother. But I'm gonna have this light aim directly at my face and I'm gonna put this reflector on so that all of the light is aimed directly at my slumbering eyelids. Also, I'm giving it a name. The Slumber Blaster 9000. <laughs> all right, so here's the setup. I'm going to be plugging the Slumber Blaster 9000 into this Philips Hue smart plug so that I can set up an automation that will make the light come on automatically at 6.30 a.m. I'm not able to make this come on gradually, so it will be coming on at 100% brightness. So the Slumber Blaster 9000 is set up right here, and the camera is set up right here. No, not for that, you perv. And I have another camera set up over here to get more of a wide shot. My wife, who gets up before me, is gonna be turning on both cameras and hitting the record button before the Slumber Blaster 9000 wakes me up. And I'm not looking forward to going to sleep because I am terrified of waking up tomorrow. Should be restful. Oh, God. Jeez. I think that was the worst way that I've ever woken up. My eyes hurt, I'm stressed out. I couldn't figure out how to turn the thing off. It felt like I was at a Skrillex concert in my underwear. Needless to say, I do not recommend using the Slumber Blaster 9000 unless you like pain, stress, and you want to start your day with just sheer panic. But I don't know, maybe you're into that kind of thing. No judgment from me, you freaking weirdo. <laughs>